Hi, my name is Gunnar Sletta and I'm one of the developers working on Boot to Qt. And now I'm going to give you a brief introduction to how the Boot to Qt SDK works. Now this is the Qt creator that comes with, um, with Boot to Qt. And the first thing we need to do is that we need to configure this for the target hardware that we want to use. So under tools, under options, uh, build and run. And then in the kits tab, we see that we have a number of, uh, of, of different kits here. Uh, Boot to Qt SDK for Nexus 7, Beagleboard, IMX6, and for the emulator. And the emulator kit uh, works out of the box, but for the, the, the hardware kits, we need to first make a clone of this so that the kit can pick up the actual hardware ID, this thing you see down here. I am X. Press apply, okay, and then we're set to go. Now what I want to do is I want to create a project and uh, and run it on the emulator and on the IMX6 hardware. So I go into file, new project. Uh, there are a number of different options here, but I'm going to choose now a Qt Quick 2 application with built-in elements. Press the choose button for that. Call the project for demo, press the next button, and then I get to this uh, kit selection page. I'm not going to use the Nexus, uh, I'm going to use the IMX6 kit that I created before, and I'm going to use the emulator kit, uh, because I also want to show how this runs with the emulator. I click next, uh, it generates a couple of files for me that you can see here, don't really have to pay that much attention to that, so I just press finish. There's a tiny um, issue here that we need to resolve as well. Um, the emulator kit comes out fine. Uh, you see under the run configuration it says run demo on boot to cute device. However, the IMX6 one has in the run section has a custom executable. That's wrong, so I need to remove that. And then it says run demo on boot to cute device, as it should. So I go back to the editor. The, um, the wizard has generated a simple QML file for me. It is a rectangle uh, with a text that is centered in the rectangle. It says, hello world. And then there's a mouse area. And when I click that, it will quit the application. So I'm gonna make this slightly more interesting so, uh, and interactive for me. I'm just gonna give this mouse area a ID. And then I'm going to set the scale factor here to be when the mouse is down, the scale factor will be 5. And when the mouse is down, the rotation should be 10, otherwise 0. And just so that this becomes slightly more interesting to look at, I'm going to add a behavior on scale, which is a number animation lasting a total of 200 milliseconds. And then I do the same for the rotation. Okay, so let's see how this runs in the emulator. There we go. And when I press this, it will animate and change the scale factor and change the rotation. So now I'm going to try to run this on the actual device. What I need to do then is I go over here and I instead of selecting the emulator, I select the IMX6 kit. We wait for that to become ready. Uh, the green thing here shows that my device is connected. I press run. Now it's up and running, and when I tap it, it animates as it should. So all you need to do to run your Qt applications on your target hardware is to use the boot to Qt SDK, create your project, and press the play button. It deploys and it runs automatically. It's that easy. Thank you for watching.